Welcome to this ELC self-study video. Today we're going to look at the structure of a good workplace report. This can be tricky, especially if you've never written a report before. So let's start with the basics. The first thing to look at when writing a report is the structure. The structure is very important because it will help us to organize our thoughts and make it easier for our teachers to read our work, which will make them happier. A good way to do this is to use clear headings, subheadings, and numbering. Headings should be underlined. Now the first part of report is the introduction. This is where we will tell the reader what the report will cover. In other words, the scope. What is the purpose of our report? For example, this report examines the recently observed declining morale of our staff. The main aims of the report are to identify the causes of the decline in staff morale and recommend ways to boost it. This tells us exactly what the report is about. In our report, we should include any background information the reader will need to understand the report. That's the introduction sorted. Now let's move on to the next section. The next section is sort of like an extension of the introduction. It's the procedure. If we're writing a short report, we can include this section in the introduction to save space. Otherwise, we should give it its own section. The procedure shows our reader exactly how we gathered the data. Did we use a questionnaire? How do we find the respondents? What groups of people were targeted? How many people were surveyed? Did we perhaps collect data by some other means? Whatever it is, this is the part of a report where we would tell the reader exactly how the data was gathered. Once we have gathered our data, we will include it in our findings. This is the part of our report where we will tell the reader exactly what we have found out. What did our respondents say? Reports often use lots of tables and graphs to display information quickly and clearly. The findings section is where the main problems identified from the data are laid out. First, you need to describe the data. Then, you need to discuss the data. The important thing is to say what happened and why. We need to discuss the causes, effects, and implications of the problems we encountered. The next part is the conclusion. This is where we summarize what we have concluded from data we have collected. What are the main findings? What is the link to the recommendations? Remember, the conclusion should discuss the information in the report, but we shouldn't introduce any new information here. The main purpose of the conclusion is to summarize the rest of the report briefly and clearly as well as to provide the link between our findings and our recommendations. The final part of our report is the recommendations. This is where we provide solutions. Things went wrong, so how could we fix it next time? Each problem you identified in the findings needs to be solved in the recommendations. And that's it. That's the basic framework of a workplace report. Now. There are a number of other resources on the ELC YouTube channel to help with each part in more detail, including a look at the findings, conclusion, and recommendation sections.